This is an exciting day for Northern Michigan University and for Northern Michigan hockey, and we're glad to have everyone here with us this morning. It's particularly nice to see some of the student athletes in the back. I'd like to start out with thanking several people. First, President Erickson for all of his support throughout the search process. Also, Max Graves, Pat Lakin, and Jeff Koval, uh, Matt Herbig for their consistently great job they do over at Audiovisual Services. And uh, Mike Lakinen's right here today, but they were a huge part of uh, uh, the search and making everything was really smooth. Also, Mike Bath, the university's director of public safety for the role he played, giving the candidates tours, as well as Alex Tizio, Robin Burke, Jen Tobias, and other Department of Athletics staff members for again making sure that the search process represented the university in such a professional way. Next, I want to thank the search committee. Don Waddell, Dave Mogish, Dallas Drake, Jason Welch, Justin Florick, Zach Diamond Tony, Rick Comley, Bob Cowell, and Julie Rochester. This group went way above and beyond our expectations. They moved their schedules around both in their personal lives and professional lives. And they really had great dialogue, sharing thoughts in an open, honest, and respectful way. And each of them honored our commitment to maintain confidentiality throughout the process. And I really appreciate that. Finally, I want to thank the student athletes for their patience over the last five weeks. As I told them this morning, I hope every returning student athlete felt heard and represented during the search. Um, Zach did a great job at all of our meetings and was heavily involved. And I also had the chance to talk with the team a couple of times over the last few weeks. Next, I'll say a few words about the process itself. When you go through something like this, um, you end up having the opportunity to talk with countless administrators and coaches from all over the country and to connect with alums and former Northern Michigan hockey players working um, in the hockey, hockey business. Many of them who helped create the foundation for future generations and for the continued success of the program. Every one of these conversations is valuable. The ideas were energizing. And there was tremendous benefit to listening and learning and taking note of the small things that will help our program going forward. Process. Uh, the position was posted for two and a half weeks starting on Monday, March 13th. 69 candidates formally submitted application materials through the university's people admin system. The search committee then met and selected 15 of those candidates for video interviews. Uh, the search committee members reviewed the video interviews and scored them. The search committee then met again to discuss the video interviews and selected five finalists. These finalists came to campus last week and met with the committee and also had one-on-one -on -one meetings with President Erickson. Uh, they toured campus. And they met with staff to go over the hockey program's budget and talk about academics and compliance. All five coaches, all five finalists are exceptional coaches and I, I can't stress that enough. In fact, I thought of the 15 video interviews that probably 13 people would have been successful coaches here at Northern Michigan. But in particular, the five finalists, um, you know, they're great hockey people, um, good coaches, and just uh, excellent, excellent people. So it made this decision very difficult. But our goal throughout the search was to carry out a fair process that would allow a candidate to demonstrate their ability and to earn the opportunity, which leads me to why Grant Petulny. Um, Grant truly, truly earned this opportunity. I did not know Grant before this process started. Um, I saw his uh, resume in with all the others and uh, looked interesting. We talked about him at our first meetings. Um, I started making phone calls. People were calling me. The more I heard, the more I liked. There was one thing in particular that kind of jumped out to me, and that is that after playing at Minnesota, the people that know Grant the best the people that are most familiar with him, the people that know what he's all about and what he prioritizes, his commitment to excellence, the people that have seen that he understands the price that it takes to have success. 
Uh, they brought him back. They brought him back when he was young. They brought him back when he didn't have a ton of experience. And they trusted their program uh, and their recruiting to him. And uh, he's done an outstanding job in every way. So again, why Grant? Well, first, Grant's a winner. I think people that have read his bio know that he's achieved success at every level as a player and as a coach. Uh, he was part of, these are just some things that, that stand out. He was part of teams uh, that won three state championships in high school in North Dakota. Uh, he was the MVP of a team that won the Anderson Cup in the United States Hockey League in juniors. He was a three-year captain at Minnesota and was part of teams that won two national championships. And more recently, he's helped Minnesota win six conference championships and also helped the United States win two world junior championships as an assistant coach. But what really stood out to me were the things that kept coming up as I talked with people in the hockey community. They talked about Grant's integrity and character, which is at the top of the list whenever we're hiring any coach or staff position. And Grant being the kind of person that any parent would want their son to play for. They consistently mentioned his presence. That's a word I hear often. His ability to make everyone around him better and his tremendous leadership. Grant is without question a leader and has been throughout his entire career. Another thing that stands out is Grant's attention to detail. He's organized and has a plan for our program. I've noticed the same quality in many great coaches that I've worked with over the years. Finally, Grant's ability to recruit and to build relationships with players. And for me, this was kind of the final thing, watching him interact with Zach during the interview process. Um, and again, today, uh, it was just truly enjoyable watching him interact with the team. So as I told the student athletes this morning, Northern Michigan hockey is going to be successful. The foundation's in place, but to regularly compete for conference championships, there are no shortcuts. It's going to take more than hiring a new leader for the program. It's going to take hard work and total commitment from the team starting right away this summer and total commitment from all of us to support the program. I believe we have that. With that, please allow me to introduce who I believe is the right person to lead the program and build upon Northern Michigan's rich hockey history, Grant Petulney.